Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Donovan. This is the Apple Watch Series 4 and tonight I want to talk about how you can improve the GPS location services while you are working out on the Apple Watch Series 4 and this is also going to apply to the Apple Watch Series 3 and the Series 2 because they all have GPS built into them uh, like the Series 4 does. So with that being said, the reason why I'm making this video is because uh, a couple nights ago I posted a video about how the Apple Watch Series 4 is just an absolutely fantastic watch for uh, runners and some people commented and mentioned that they were actually having issues with the GPS location on their Series 4. So I wanted to show you how to fix that if you are having that issue. So uh, first thing you want to do is you want to go into settings and we're going to scroll down here into privacy and there's a good chance that this is already set up so this is just a double checking before we get into the actual things that will fix the issue um, so we're going to go here into location services and we want to check two things number one we want to make sure that apple watch workout is able to use our location services so as long as it says while using we're good so we're going to scroll all the way down now we're going to go all the way down to system services as you can see here and uh, we want to make sure that motion calibration and distance is checked. And uh, the reason why this one's super important is because not only does the Apple Watch use GPS to uh, measure your distance, but it's also going to use the accelerometer. The accelerometer is important because it's going to use that while you're doing an indoor run. And uh, I will mention that for indoor running on a treadmill, this is probably the most accurate watch I've ever used um, in terms of being dead on with what my treadmill is saying. And it's usually within like two one hundredths of a mile, which is pretty good uh, for a watch for an indoor run on a treadmill. All right, so with that being said, uh, we wanna make sure that those two things are checked. And then the next thing we wanna check is we're gonna go over here and uh, let's say that I've done that. Okay, so um, those two things are good, obviously you're still having issues. So next thing you want to check is before you go for a run, um, this is just one thing I would recommend and uh, we're going to go for an outdoor run. It's going to do our three second countdown, three, two, one, and uh, we're going to go right over and pause it immediately. Okay. So a second ticked off, no big deal. And we're going to actually go out of that and we're going to scroll from the bottom and check our location services. So as long as that thing right there, that little guy, that little arrow up there is uh, colored in, that means that it does have GPS lock. That is a way to check it. Um, so as long as you have that GPS lock, you're good to go and you can go ahead and start your run. Now let's say that it's still inaccurate. Let's say you do have GPS lock and it's still inaccurate. Well, the reason why it's probably inaccurate is because the very first time you use the watch, it might have had a connection to your phone or possibly connection to your Wi-Fi at home. And uh, as a result, it is using not the location services, but it used the accelerometer for the first few parts of that run. And so it calibrated the watch based off of the accelerometer and not the GPS. So that can happen with this watch, with the Series 2, the Series 3, because uh, this watch kind of defaults to using that accelerometer whenever GPS isn't available. So if the original calibration happened with that, here's how you fix that. So we're gonna go into the watch app. So we're gonna go down here and uh, I'm gonna go into the watch app and uh, I already have it on the actual setting. Um, so here is you know my Apple Watch. We're gonna go all the way down here into privacy. So again, we're going to privacy. And uh, you can see here there's an option to reset fitness calibration. So you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and do that. It's gonna tell, give you a warning and say that this is going to mess up the accuracy. Well, if it's already inaccurate, then it's no big deal. So you go ahead and hit that reset fitness calibration. And the next time you go for a run, or for a bike ride or for a walk. Um, I'd recommend a run, um, but that's gonna give you, obviously if you're a runner, that's how you're gonna get a most accurate GPS the next time out, uh, is you go in and you do this. So you wanna make sure when you go out for that next run after you reset the calibration, that you don't have the watch anywhere near your phone because you don't want it to use the GPS on your phone. And you kinda wanna get away from the Wi-Fi. If you have home Wi-Fi, get away from your home Wi-Fi as well. Um, I just recommend that just so it's not using anything other than the GPS. Go into the app uh, like I did here. So go into the workout app and as soon as you start it, go ahead and hit pause like I mentioned 
and then go out of the app, check the location to make sure that that is actually using GPS like you can see it is right now and then go ahead and start the run. So once it has that lock, you can see that it's actually using the GPS, then go ahead and go for the run. It needs to be about 20 minutes um, because it's going to use the accelerometer and the GPS, but now it's using, it's relying on GPS, not the accelerometer. Uh, for that initial calibration and you should be good to go after that. So that is if you're having issues um, even after all the location services are turned on and uh, it's still showing you inaccurate uh, workouts then that's how you're gonna fix it. So that worked for me. I'm assuming it will probably work for most people. Um, so hopefully that helps someone. Thanks for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.